Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says, I'm going to be rehousing one of my deadly scorpions today. And which one is it going to be? I'm going to be rehousing my male Hot and Totter Sally. Uh, I just feel that he's outgrown his enclosure a little bit now and he needs something with a bit more floor space to walk around. And I'm still looking for the female for him. But unfortunately at the moment it's a little bit cold. Because um, as you know I get my scorpions from Germany. So they won't post until it warms up a little bit. So hopefully, I don't know, middle of February, start of March. When it warms up a little bit I'm looking to get a female for my uh, male. So let's uh, get started. So as you can see ladies and gentlemen. I've taken the enclosure off the shelf, so let's just quickly take the lid off and let's just move the enclosure closer to the camera. And there he is there, fairly big male. Um, I'd say he's about two, two and a half inch from his claws and if he's got his tail stretched out and if you've been watching my videos for a while, I did actually mate him with my old female, but uh, unfortunately she rejected the eggs and um, she passed away. Um, I think she passed away from old age because I didn't actually know how old she actually was. Um, she was wild caught as well, cause so she could have been carrying you know, any kind of parasite. She could have been you know, an old female. So, you know, that's just the way it goes when you buy wild caught specimens so let's get the bigger enclosure and everything that goes with it so there we go there's the bigger enclosure i also have a bigger water dish which is just a a bottle top from a, a milk carton i have a fake plant which is optional so you don't have to add a fake plant if you want to but i personally like to because it spruces up the enclosure and somebody asked me what kind of sand I use. And all it is, it's just bird sand with added oyster shells. I get this from my local pet shop at 88 pence per bag. So, yeah, there's not much to it really. And I'll get the old hide from an old enclosure and put it in here. So, let's get started. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, as easy as that. And I hope you uh, like the music as well. So all I've got to do now is just uh, quickly fill up the water dish and get the, the label and put it onto its uh, new enclosure. So I've filled up the water dish, ladies and gentlemen, and the only thing I've got to do now is just put the label on. And there we go, everybody, nice and simple. Uh, best just try and stay as calm as as you can and you can see the uh, the size difference between each enclosure and you can see that he's got plenty more floor space to walk around so let's just quickly put the lid back on because I don't want him to, to get out and I've mentioned these brass plastic tubs before and you can see all the ventilation holes all on the edge of this lid here so they're fantastic tubs for housing scorpions in and i hope you enjoyed this 
quick rehouse video everybody and uh, thanks for watching everyone.